My name's JB. I own a K74 Mitsubishi L200 and it's got a big old boost leak. Okay, so any boost leaks I've ever dealt with before on petrol engine cars have been hoses. They've been like whistles because of a split in a hose or a coupling from a metal hose to a silicon bend. But this, you can see, is very, very short uh, rubber hoses. Uh, there's only three and they are fine. Uh, my boost leak's actually coming from this here, the, the throttle body. Uh, Thankfully this engine sucks in so much oil from the positive crankcase ventilation that it's spewing oil out uh, exactly where it's leaking. And so if we just follow the traces of blood splatter, all splattered around here, and of course around the base here, we'll see that that is our problem. We are leaking pressurised air from around this seal, and you can see there's a metal gasket there. So today's objective is to replace that metal gasket, but not with another metal gasket. We're going to use this instant gasket. So a bit of RTV. We're going to see if that works today in place of that metal gasket. Apparently it's quite a common place for these to leak boost. I uh, found a lot of old forum posts about people talking about having oil weepage around there and I have always had a bit of weepage around there but now you can see it's spraying out and that's because there's a lot of uh, compressed air pushing that oil out and it's got to the point now where just when this is on any kind of boost it just sounds like there's no, it just sounds like the turbo is open it just sounds like all the boost is coming out so we need to get this addressed. Now I'm just going to start by unplugging these sensors that are in our way. We need a little screwdriver for that. We'll get this hose off, get this fitting off and these should go right through to the, to the bottom and lift off this full assembly that we need into. Here we are, we've got it all off. Here's the throttle body. See it's uh, nice and oily. You see where it was all coming out the back there. I've taken the gasket off, but you can see just here, uh, at the top of the actuator, where it is covered in oil. That's where it was uh, blowing past the seal. So now we just got to clean up all these surfaces and then we're going to put them back together with our RTV.
All right, and just like that, we're on to reassembly. So the instructions for this product are to make contact within 10 to 15 minutes. Um, that's how long the product stays tacky for. So we have two surfaces that we need to get joined here, uh, but they're joined with the same fixings or the same bolts. So I'm going to need to get this side sealed. We always we seal one side only. So I'm going to apply seal to this side, set the throttle body on, hope that I get it in the, the right position, and then seal the top of the throttle body and place on the uh, top pipe. This is a nice clear RTV. Should be plenty. Let's place on top the throttle body without smudging it. Right, let's do the same for the top, and then we can get the bolts fed through. Hi, Dad. Hi. That should be plenty. No. YouTube. Wait, you're recording this? Yeah. So now I need to set this on top carefully. I or be in the camera. Hang on, no, don't be in the camera just now because I'm uh Do you want to help me for a second? Yeah. This is then you'll be in camera, right? Okay. See what I'm doing here, holding that back yeah. with my thumb. Can you hold it back? You might get a little dirty, but you can wash your hands in a minute, right? Hold that back and keep it there, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, you're doing great. Right now, are you done? Almost. This is the last one in there. Oh my god. Yeah. You wish you never volunteered now? No, it's just my thumb is sore. Wanna say hi to YouTube? Hi. I don't know if it's in my hand. Let's get one more in here. Oh uh, no, am I done? Almost. Uh, right. Right, I go. Oh, uh, I forgot a couple of bits. You did. Yeah. Right. Thank you for your help. Uh, you're welcome. Oh, come in, Mum. Bye. In the heat at the moment, I forgot a few bits.
Right, now let's just try and tighten it up sort of evenly and get that sealer beading round. That's more than tight enough. It wasn't very tight to begin with, and it's only what aluminium or something. So you can see as we're tightening, you get a nice even bead of that sealant coming out, which is a good sign. The key is to make sure you get a nice uh, consistent bead all the way around, no breaks, no squeeze, and then pull away from the from the bead and then come back to it. If you can make one nice continuous bead. See it in there, it's splurging out at the bottom. Looks nice. And of course, with this, with this being uh, silicon and being clear, uh, you can trim it uh, once it's once it's set with a knife, if you want to. So we're going to let this cure. UK, this is made in the UK. So now I'm just going to pop our pipes back on, a vacuum pipe there for the throttle actuator, sensor um, on the side, I think that's the boost pressure sensor there. Uh, I'm not sure what that sensor is, must be some sort of air sensor, but yeah, not a lot, not a lot involved in getting that off and getting that fixed. What I'll do as well is I will clean up all the soil residue that we have here. Uh, and then if we get more oil, we'll know it's still leaking. Okay, full disclaimer, it's actually been 24 hours since I uh, fitted this silicon seal. I uh, had the benefit of being able to leave it that long, so I can feel now that it's nice and cured. So let's give it its first start. I'm going to let this warm up for five minutes and then we'll uh, take it for a spin and hope for the best. Comment down below how long you think this repair will last. It's been a week so far. Don't forget to like and subscribe.